Hey folks, it's Stefan here. Welcome back to Stardew Valley and Sanctuary Farm. Vincent is here on the first day of summer during our first year. Pretty exciting. We've gotten through one season. Alright, let's check out the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller says. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Okay, and we will check living off the land, see if there's any knowledge there that we don't know. Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. Well, hops is nice because you can make beer from it. So we might want to consider that. Now, all these things... Interesting that that one's not dead. But everything else sh should be dead. And yeah, we got some extra growth that showed up on the farm. Some random sticks and rocks that showed up. Not really sure why that happens. But it does. So we're just going to go into town pretty quickly and get some new seeds because we don't have much to plant for summer. Although I think we have a couple. We have some mixed seeds down here that we can pop into the ground. And one of these boxes, which I still have not organized. Oh, we've got six, actually. And then we have some fertilizer, which we don't have enough inventory room for. And starfruit seeds, which we can plant in the summer. So let's let's see. Where, where is all of our copper at? We gotta find. Yeah, this is this is why I need to organize this. I don't really have any place to put anything right now. We've got up to 87 copper. We need to start turning that into something. Copper bars. Wood we can get rid of. Crystal won't fit. We can put the strawberry back for now. Oh, we did get a couple of pieces of iron ore. I wonder where those came from. Okay. We'll take the fertilizer. And we're going to get the starfruit seeds. And we can at least plant these right now. So we've got just one starfruit. And we have six mixed seeds. So just make a little, little row here. Clean this up. We're going to put the fertilizer down. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, and seven. Put the star fruit right at the end, and the mixed seeds. No, not the fishing. The mixed seeds, please. Okay, and water these guys. And did we upgrade this? No, we did not. We haven't upgraded anything yet. You'd think I would remember that, but apparently I don't. Okay, that is everything watered. Guster's been watered, right? We already watered Guster. It's 810, so we'll start heading into town. He won't be open yet. But maybe there'll be something up here to pick up. And there is. There's a spice berry. I think that's what these are called. Spice berry. So we're already into the summer harvestable items or forageable items. And those will be good to start collecting. Oh, and here's another one. This one's a sweet pea, right? Sweet pea, indeed. Let's see what else we can find on the way over there. Maybe there'll be a new quest as well. And there is a new quest. We better check what the birthday situation is, too. We've got Jaws' birthday coming up in Thursday, and then next week is Gus, Maru. Okay. Oh, the dwarf is in there, too. Feeling gloomy, a hot pepper might cheer me up, Sebastian. Well, the problem there is the hot pepper doesn't even grow until the summer, so we can't do that because we don't have any yet. Let's see. Well, we find out that Pierre actually is happy with a daffodil, isn't he? Let's give him a daffodil. That's very kind of you. I like this. And, yeah, there's the pepper seeds right there. They take five days to grow, so there's no way we could do that quest for Sebastian, unfortunately. And what my plan was, was to buy a whole bunch of blueberry seeds. We should probably do some wheat, radish. Oh, yeah, the corn starter we definitely want to do. All right, let's get ten corn starters. And we'll take five hop starters. And... Can we afford 10? Ugh, barely. Barely, barely. Don't have much room left over here. What do we got that's cheap? Wheat's cheap. We can buy 10 wheat. All right, we're, we're basically poor now. That's all right, we'll build that money back. We can go fishing or mining or build that up in some way. Let's head back and start making this garden look good. And then we need to start constructing some fences. Um. And in order to do that, we really do need to upgrade that axe. Of course, we just spent all our money, so... 
We won't be able to do that today, but maybe soon. All right, so the first thing is I'm just going to space this out a little bit, especially since these, uh, like the hops and the corn, uh, not the corn so much, but the hops prevent you from really moving between r rows, so it's easier just to keep them separate, I think. And we're going to need a lot more fertilizer. Where is our sap? Sap, sap, sap. Do we not have any sap? That could be a problem. That means we have to cut down trees. I can't believe... Oh, no, we do. I was going to say, I couldn't believe we didn't have any sap. I don't know how many we're going to need, so I'm just going to make 25, I guess, for now. I'm sure we're going to need a whole row's worth here, though. I think we missed a couple spots in there, maybe right here behind this guy. It says no. It doesn't look like it has anything in there. Let's uh, get the hops up here first, since those are the ones that prevent you from moving around. So it's because you have this trellis, I guess, is why that gets in the way. And then we've got corn. Corn's another good one to put up here, I suppose. Have a nice line of corn. And if we've calculated correctly, this should all be under the protection of the Scarecrow. So let's hope that we did. So we don't need a crow coming down. I actually did see a crow for the first time the other day. I'd never actually seen one eat anything. And I don't remember if that was in this Let's Play or, if, or at home. But it was annoying. He just chomped on something. Oh, I know what it was. I was doing a video to record some of the uh, cutscenes and the um, achievements that you get. And so I had started a new gameplay for that, and that's where that happened. All right, so now we've got wheat, which we kind of want to keep separate, because you have to use the sign to cut that down. It doesn't cause you to cut down your other crops, but I just want to keep it separate anyway. So we've got ten of these. Move, move, Vincent. You actually have to move. He's not very good at moving when I want him to move. I suppose that's really me, not him so much. All right, there's some good stuff. Fertilizer, fertilizer. So we get better quality crops if we plant the fertilizer. That's the whole reason for doing that. And we do have the ability to make the base sprinkler, I think. Yeah, we can make the base sprinkler. But it only waters every the four adjacent tiles, so it's really not very useful. Because it just basically does north, south, east, and west. And it really makes you plant things in a strange order, a strange layout. Okay, we need a couple more because we still have two more blueberries in there. And then we're going to pop the blueberries up here in front of our nice scarecrow. I think that'll be a nice place for those. Clear this over here. Clear, clear, clear. And put some fertilizer. All right, fertilizer is in place, and now we just need the blueberries. And if my screen would stop flashing on me, I would be all set. I don't know what the deal is with that. It's been a problem on and off with this computer since I built it. And I'm kind of thinking that it might be the DVI cable, but I really don't know, and I don't have another DVI cable to try. But just every once in a while, the monitor will go black, and... It comes back in like a second or so, but it's very disrupting, especially if you're playing any sort of an action game. All right, look at that. Look at all those crops that we've got planted. That is excellent. Of course, now we've got the long wait for those to come up into uh, actual food, but that's all right. 298. There's Guster. So we need to make a little bit of money now that we've spent all our money. So let's, let's just put everything in here. Gee, I don't remember. Were the spirits happy? We'll have to go back in and look. I think they actually were. I think they were. Yeah, they're in good humor, so we might as well break those geodes open, even though that's going to cost us money, not make us money. But it might lend us something good, maybe something that we can give to Gunther. So I think it's worth checking that out. We'll head over that, that way. We've already picked up all the forgeable items in this section. But we might find something over by the blacksmith. I use quite a bit of energy to get all those crops planted, too. 
So we're not going to probably go into the mine, I guess. We should stop in and say hello to people. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Yes, that's true. Summer is nice, but it also means more work. I'll have to keep the garden in shape on top of working in the house. Keep that in mind if you're going to need anything. Yeah, well, it is a problem having the shop closed on any day of the week, and it always seems to be Wednesday when I want to buy something. I feel more energetic in this wonderful weather. Okay. It is worth talking to them. This is going to be a great season for stargazing. Huh. I don't know if she likes a spice berry or sweet pea. She probably does like one or the other. But I don't know which one. It, but it is worth talking to people because your friendship level actually goes down by two points every day. Which, can you imagine losing your friends just because you haven't talked to them? If that's the way that it works, then... I probably don't have that many friends left. I'm going to get such a nice tan this summer. I doubt it. You, your skin tone seems to stay pretty much consistent. Hey, summer's definitely the best time of year. Right now is great because we've got the whole season to look forward to. Catch you later. And if we wanted to buy an ice cream for an exorbitant fee of like 200 gold, we could do that. But we don't want to do that. We'll eventually learn the recipe for ice cream. So let's process these geodes. Hopefully they're decent. Well, that one was crap. Three gold copper. Okay, this one might be something we can donate. Lemon stone. Yes, we can give that to Gunther. I don't imagine we'll get anything exciting out of that, like a reward, just because it doesn't seem like a very interesting mineral. But we'll give it to him. I think you mostly get rewards on artifacts anyway. Yeah, we got nothing for that. Well, that's okay. That is alright. Turn that into Gunther. And now I think we'll go down and do a little fishing. Uh, we know that Haley is not into dandelions. She would like a daffodil, but now those are all gone. We're not going to be getting any more daffodils back until next summer. Okay, and it turns out that Maru does like a sweet pea, so if she's still sitting on the bench up here, we will take a sweet pea to Maru. No... This is a super gift, thank you. You are welcome. Where is Lewis? He's gone into his house already and I'm not gonna chase him down. Oh gosh, it's already five. Time flies when you're playing Stardew Valley. Look out, seagulls. I'm coming through. All right, no forgeable items down here, it looks like. What's Vincent doing down here by himself? I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Who's that? Who's your big brother? Sam? Who is his big brother? I'm not sure. Uh, coral. One piece of coral, that's all we're going to get. Wow. Not much of a haul today. Well, we can get some fish. We can get some fish. And make a little bit of money. A little itty bitty money. Maybe. Oh, here's Willie. He's out fishing. Ahoy there, son! Looks like decent weather for fishing, eh? He fishes every day, doesn't he? Always oh, decent weather to him. I'm gonna steal your fish now, Willie. He always fishes so close to the dock. Oh, uh, well, here. Soggy newspaper. That's quality. Maybe I can get a driftwood stick as well. Uh, nope. But we did get seaweed. Seaweed actually is useful, though. Driftwood, not so much. Slug and newspaper, not so much. Unless we have the recycling machine, which we don't have. But we do learn that from fishing. So as our fishing level goes up, we'll be able to get a recycling machine. And then we can turn this, these trash items into usable items. Such as... Um, well, such as coal. I think stone is one of them. Oh, come on. We're not catching anything here. I've got a single fish. Just hauling junk out of here. This maybe is not a good place to fish. We might need to move elsewhere. Yeah, okay, fine. I, we're just going to move because we didn't get a single fish out of like six, seven tries. Let's fish right over here by this thing. See if we can get any better luck on this side.
Oh my goodness. Well, I think we've gotten every piece of trash. Every different type of trash, I believe. Well, maybe not sun, the, maybe not the broken glasses, but... Finally a fish. And the way this is behaving, I don't think it's an eel. Oh, I am wrong. It is a halibut. And we achieved fisherman. New achievement, fisherman. Which is what? That's on the... Where is that? Achievements. Catch ten different fish. Ah, well, it's our first achievement, and we caught ten different fish. Too bad you don't get an achievement for catching trash, because we've got plenty of that. Here's another fish. Yay. Alright, this one's zooming up here. He slows down, and we missed perfect. Now he's going to drop back down. All the way to the bottom. This is another halibut. I really thought it was the eels that behaved that way. No, I guess it's the halibut. Well, it can't hurt to have a couple halibut. Any fish is going to be good. We can sell them. We can get another couple fish here. We'll head back to the farm. Seems to be similar behavior. Ah, we missed perfect again. But another halibut and set a world a new record for it. 24 inch halibut. And, in, and actually, that makes sense that we were be catching a new types of fish here in the summer. Oh, another broken CD. Let's just keep going here. Maybe we can get to the point of raising our fishing level. And that would be great. Oh, there's a treasure way up there, but we're not going to get to that. He's going to go back down, yeah. The problem with um, the way it works, too, is when the fish drops to the bottom... It just bounces. It's, I don't think there's much of a way to control how that drops so that it smoothly goes down there. More seaweed. We are going to be all set for making maki once we finally know that recipe and have a kitchen. And money to buy rice. Which, we have none of that right now. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're just going to be getting halibut today, I guess. And we blew, we blew perfect on that one for no particular reason. All right, that's another halibut. It's dark. It's 10 p.m. Let's head home. We'll see what we've got. And sell some of it. It's, it's usually worth keeping at least one of everything. In case somebody has a quest for one, then we could just pull it out and drop it off. So we like to complete those quests because that helps with our friendship status. And also our, our money. Some money from that. And we are... Uh, Doing some decent fishing, so we can start working on that fish tank in the community center. We need to get a puffer fish now that it's summer. I know that for sure is one of the things that we need. So let's see what we got for fish. We got five medium quality halibut. Alright, let's split those off. I'm going to sell one, and we'll send the rest to Lewis. He can do what he wants to with this. We're going to send him the junk as well. I don't know that that actually makes any money at all, but we might as well send it off and see. We'll give the one base strawberry, uh, spice berry, and see what we earn from that. Well, please remember to take the poll at the end of the video. Tell me whether you think we should wait for Emily to become a marriage candidate, or if we should just move on, And uh, because we don't know when that patch is going to come out. Okay, you don't get anything from the trash. Not a surprise, really. Well, we got 400 for the fish. That's not too bad. I've also updated my Patreon page. So just for $1, you can really help make a difference in my ability to be continuing to produce videos for the channel. Check out the Patreon link. It's right at the top of the description of this. It's also available from the channel banner. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. All those activities help the channel to grow and help the, the videos get higher in search rankings, and that's all really important for continued growth of the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you next time.